Ezra in Brooklyn. What's up, Ezra? Hi, Mike. Um, you're a true uh, icon, and uh, I'm glad that uh, I had the opportunity well, to you. talk to you on there. Thank you. Um, uh, my point is that, you know, I agree with you the whole season that the Yankees were playing with ha house money. Uh, they got that top wild card. And uh, I actually really believe that the, AO, the, the, the division series is crazy that it's five games and the championship series and World Series are seven games. I mean, it should also be seven games. It's crazy it comes down to that. But after what happened in Game 2, I really disagree that you can't say anymore that the Yankees are playing with house money and that everything on top is a cherry on top. Because if it comes down to a blunder by Joe Girardi and some pitching errors in the second game, then it could go down as a difference in a World Series championship and one game of a mess up. It's 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 not something we Listen, should say. Okay, we're happy anyway. That's where they're playing a wonderful team. They've come from two games down. They won a game the other night. They easily could have lost one nothing. That was a one nothing game. Judge brought a home run back. It was a two run home run that easily easily could have gone either way. That game easily one bounce of the ball could have gone either way. So that's the way these games are often. They're playing a terrific team. They're playing a team that could easily win the whole thing this year. They're playing a team that had an incredible run in September, that went 32 and four, I believe, in their 30 last set of 36 games. But they have hit a bad patch. They clearly have hit a bad patch, and they're not playing well at all right now. Offensively, defensively, even in their starting pitching. So from that standpoint, they're vulnerable. But the Yankees showed a lot of grit coming back from two down. They will. They clearly got plenty to build on, no matter which way this game goes. If they win it, well, we know what this season has been for the Yankees. It becomes a wonderful season. If they lose it, I think they still have plenty to build on for next year. They're ahead of schedule, and the Yankees are going to be one of the heavy favorites, if not the favorite, to win it all next year because of what they've done this year. Mike in Connecticut, what's up, Mike? Hey, not much, Mike. How you doing? Good. What's happening? Not much. Uh, all right, Mike, a couple things here. I just briefly want to uh, talk about how um, the Indians before the series started, Mike. Now, I know that the, they had this nice, fantastic streak and all, but that being said, I feel like the Indians, before that streak, Mike, they were six or seven games above 500. Now, they went on the streak now that they got to 100 wins. They won a World back. Series last year. They won 100 they, games this year. They are a terrific team. So uh, what, are, what, what, are, what is your point? They are a terrific team, Mike. But I feel like at this point of the season, the end of the season, they kind of limped into the playoffs. Oh, stop. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Say, what do you, what do you, Mike, you don't know what you're talking about. I mean, I, I, I think you're struggling to find something to say. I don't think you have any idea what you want to say. Okay? They didn't struggle coming into the playoffs. Jason and Clifton, what's up, Jason? Hey, Mike, I think whoever calls and says Girardi has to go <coughs> should say who's going to replace him. Well, that's them. not that. that, that's that, not that, that, that one doesn't have to be linked to the other. It doesn't have to. No, be. but if you're going to keep saying that he can't, he can't do a good enough job with this well, team, the, well, the, who the, out no there is going to come no, in no and do a should, better job? No one should say he hasn't done a good job because he has. He's right, an accomplished but manager. Calling. But it, if they want to change managers, they can. They're allowed. No, I understand, Mike, but who out there is going it to do a matter. better job well, with listen, this Listen, it, it doesn't mean that they can't change managers Jason managers don't last forever okay sometimes they, they need a change of scenery so the idea if a guy leaves after 10 years it is not an unfair practice it's not like he's being run out of town he's been I'll here 10 years who are uh, they, don't have, they, don't, have, they don't have to no you don't have they don't they don't have to do that they i don't want them to do that okay i don't expect them to do that so they don't have to do that i disagree no, but again Mike, I, I disagree let's move okay. on okay okay they don't I, have I, to do that they can they can I, say I, something I, about Girardi without having to give me the replacement I, I think Girardi has made good decisions. What he made, did with Tanaka, we got the I point. We, letting, we, yeah, that's fine. You right, like allowing, him as a manager, uh, that's fine. But he, they don't. Have, if they don't like him, they don't have to say who his replacement is. My the only questionable thing that I I had, Mike, was when he had taken uh, Frazier out for Torres to pinch run. Frazier has speed. It's not like he oh, doesn't no, have stop. speed. No, he, no, he doesn't. He's, he has he, decent he can't, speed. No, listen, Torres made a mistake. It's not like he's Sanchez or he. They put. They brought in a much faster player. They did the right thing. He just got picked off. It happens. So last night when he could he could uh, tag up from third on a ball hit two hundred fifty feet. The pit, the, um, the 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 guy it's, made a terrible, terrible throw. A terrible throw. He didn't make a bad throw. He made a horrific throw. He got nothing on his throw. Nothing. He didn't even get the. He didn't even set himself properly to throw it. He is an infielder playing center field, and he looked like one last night. 
For the first time, he looked like one. Mickey in uh, Massachusetts. What's up, Mickey? Hey, Mike. Thanks for taking my call. What's happened? You know, before I make my point, I wish these people would move on from game two already. It's over. Managers make bad moves. You just had a horrendous night. It's over. No, well, now you it know? doesn't matter. Now it's about game five. Yeah, it's over. Hey, listen, if I see some number 68 coming out of the pen tonight, it's coming. You won't see him again. Bottle. Listen, he's back, on, he's back on the probation list now. I know. Here's my point, Mike. I do not want to see Gray. I have a very I don't think you will see Gray. Him. I don't think you'll see Gray unless we you don't saw need him. him. We got Canley, too. We got four guys. Canley had a short I don't think. I don't think. Night. I don't think you'll see him unless you see him in the first inning I, or second inning. I don't think that's the only time yeah. you'd see him tomorrow. And, I also, one other thing, I don't think Kubler is sale with a tired arm. I think I expect Kubler to pitch good. So we're going to need to. Well, he's not, he's not, target. he's not a stri- He's not a guy who has got a tired arm. That's for sure. That's not, no. that's not, yeah. he's not sale. He's not sale. We're going to need a good four, five innings from CC to keep us in the game because he's, we're not going to bat this guy around tonight. I just don't see it. Hey, you know, you know, listen, they did it once. So you know what? Who knows? You know, listen, I see a lot of aces don't pitch well in the postseason. A lot of, I've seen too many pitches not pitch well. It's amazing how many, that's one of the most confounding things about the postseason is how many times these star pitches don't pitch well. Last night, Greinke went to the mound. He had nothing. He had nothing. That was a huge game. They paid him a fortune. He's a tremendous pitcher. He had nothing. He had 80 pitches in the third inning. He couldn't find a plate. Watching all these guys so many times. Even Kershaw in his win gave up four home runs. Already had a huge lead. He's laying the ball in. I understand that. He's still giving four home runs. Brian in Connecticut. What's up, Brian? Hey, how's it going, Mike? Thanks for taking the call. What's up? Hey, I know I know everyone's going to be killing Joe as far as, you know, saying that the series should be over and whatnot, but what what is your opinion? I mean, as far as... The tribe coming to Yankee Stadium with a tie, you know, with a tie one one. I think the series may have been much more difficult. You can't, you can't. You can't there's no reason to discuss it because it's hypothetical and there's no answer. So there's, we will never know. So it doesn't mean the series would have been over. There's just no way of knowing, and it's it's hypothetical. That's all. You know, and the the, the Yankees, uh, the Indians took advantage of a break in Game Two. The Yankees took advantage of a break last night. Hicks was completely struck out on that on that check swing, and they didn't get the call. So it happens, and they added three runs afterwards. So that's the you got to make the next pitch. It's about making the next no, I pitch. Agree. You know, and and listen, the Yankees have done a good job in the series, getting it to five games. They've done a very good job. They're in a very good spot. You don't know if the if it had been one one, you can't say the series would have been over in three. You just don't know. Things change. Yeah, you know, different decisions are made. You just don't know. But clearly, the Yankees have been very competitive in the series. That's the bottom line. Reggie in Newark, what's up, Reggie? Hey, how's it going, Mike? What's happening? I just wanted to ask you. Um, I know you mentioned that the Yankees might be uh, tired of Joe's voice, but yeah. all the Yankees are new. Uh, you know, they got rid of all the old guys. The only ones left. Uh, no, 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 no. When I talk about that, I'm talking about being in an organization. There's guys in that organization that have all been together 10 years. It's not just, it's not just the older players or the younger players. It's dealing with upper management. It's dealing with the guys you deal with in the front office. It's dealing with coaches and scouts and everybody else. It's just the idea of everybody being together for the same amount of time. It's not just the players we're talking about here. So sometimes relationships fray and guys need to get away from each other. You know, maybe maybe Cashman and Girardi don't have a great relationship anymore. Who knows? Maybe it's, you know, him and ownership maybe it's him and you know two or three of the players uh maybe it's him and a couple of coaches you don't know exactly who it is but that happens after 10 years it happens in every organization it's hard to stay around the same organization in sports a long time it just is a very difficult thing to do so it's, it's not just and listen the players come and go they do have some young players but you know he's got guys there like Gaudy and CC, and you can think of other guys who have been there with him a while, and different guys have been there at different stages, but it's also coaches, it's also front office, it's also scout, it's everybody. It's everybody you deal with. Sometimes it's just, you know what, you need a new guy. You need a fresh, you know, just a little, you know, a fresh leader. It happens. It happens in organizations. It's, and it's, if it does happen, it's not unusual, and it's not a big deal. You move on. Joe will get a job. He's, he's going to be a coveted manager. 
I mentioned yesterday that of the managers who have managed at least 10 years who are active right now, he's the winningest manager by percentage. He's going to get a job in two minutes. Chris in Belleville, what's up, Chris? In my two things, watching Joe's press conference last night, seeing how emotionally he got, I don't think he wants to go anywhere. I think he wants to be with this, with this team, with the Yankees, with all these, know. with all these young kids. Since he, he's better at, 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 you know, he made one bonehead play, which is, which could be huge. But I don't think he wants to go anywhere. I, 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 I listen. I, I probably, I, I mean, I'm pretty sure I know Joe a lot better than you do. But I still, I, and I don't know. I, I don't know. Yeah. And I don't know. But I've gotten the feeling this year that something could happen. I've gotten that feeling all year. <laughs> 